Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Heroes Chronicles spin-off series for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. In Chapter 2, we venture to the Underworld as we follow the nightly adventures of Tarnum, the immortal hero. Ever have a dream you can't quite shape? It's called a vision, and Queen Allison had a nasty one. Her father's soul was torn from paradise and dragged into the underworld. Allison called for a hero to champion her, but only one responded. Alrighty folks, welcome to chapter 2 of the Heroes Chronicles Tales following Tarnum and his conquest of the underworld. Alrighty folks, let's jump in and let's -a go. To Her Majesty Queen Alison Griffinhart, when I heard your request for a knight to lead your troops into the underworld, I assumed all of Arathia would have jumped for the opportunity to rescue the soul of the late King Griffinhart, your father. Perhaps they were frightened off by the stories. Know this, I will not rest until I find your father's soul and return it to paradise. I have heard that you demand to accompany your troops to the underworld, but this is not a wise decision. Who knows what kind of resistance I will meet at the gates of the underworld. So, please leave the fighting to soldiers like myself, for Arathia needs its queen more than anything. Your humble servant, Satanum. Conquest of the Underworld The ancestors send Tarnum to help Queen Allison rescue the soul of her father from the depths of the Underworld. But the demons and undead are the least of his worries when Tarnum faces his past crimes. Scenario 1 Cerberus Gate Tarna must reach the Underworld Gate and defeat the Devils below to secure passage into the Underworld. You must not lose Tarnum. All heroes will be limited to level 6, but Tarnum and two of his best captains will transfer to the next scenario with all of their skills, spells and experience. We are rolling with impossible difficulty. You have a choice of Equestrians, Gloves and Boots Speed. I'm going to roll with Boots Speed. Let's do this. When the Ancestors sent Tarnum to protect Queen Allison as she embarked on a dangerous quest into the Underworld, he learned that the Ancestors had not forgotten his crimes. Was this his punishment? To save the soul of the man who killed him? The Ancestors have summoned me to the Kingdom of Arathia to help young Queen Allison, who had a dream that her father's soul was stolen from Paradise and taken down into the darkness of the Underworld. I've seen the faces of her knights and realised that I am the only one brave enough to come to her aid against the forces of the Underworld. But I've also come to realise that the Ancestors have a truly twisted sense of humour. They want me to rescue the soul of the man who killed me. If it were not for Rion Griffinhart, I might still be alive today. If I had more time, perhaps I would have come to my senses and ended my tyranny. I realise now that I was wrong, and I must believe that if given enough time, I would have been able to correct the sins I committed while King of the Barbarians. The same sins that made me unworthy of entering Paradise. Alright, so... Oh, we start with artillery, and artillery is my specialty. That is amazing. Love that. Basically, I'm playing as a Christian. <laughs> that is awesome, though. I will definitely take that. Right, money is the first thing I need to sort out. Uh, let's get you up here. Do with getting a town hall. Okay, that's a good start. I think diplomacy might be what we uh, aim for if we can. Rion Griffinhart's name is not new to me. He was the first king of Arathia, an upstart nation that challenged my authority as king of the land. 
After years of vicious combat, Griffin Hart was able to manoeuvre me into a battlefield of his choosing. I can still smell the mud. I still remember my enemy's face as he plunged his sword through my belly. It's unfair for the ancestors to force me to save this man. Is he really innocent? He's not even a barbarian. Let Griffin Hart's soul rot in the underworld for all I care. Okay, so there's mines everywhere. So I think we can focus on XP now. Mine! This is my gold! Go away and find your own, you greedy humans! Stopping for a quick break, you wander into the shadows of the cool forest. Immediately you stumble upon a majestic bird shimmering with all the colours of the rainbow. You stop in your tracks. Your legs won't move. This is the feigned quay bird, more beautiful than any creature you've ever seen. It peers at you, looking straight into your soul. With a sudden start, the magnificent bird lifts off, leaving a sparkling blue feather behind. You pick up the feather, and the men take this as a good omen, raising the morale significantly. Nice. Um, that's a lot of marksmen. We should not tackle with them just yet. I am going to get earth magic. I like the fact there's a uh, opportunity for us to get some angels nice and early. I'm going to go with marketplace. Oh, there's enemies here. Here at the border to the underworld, the land is dangerous to travel. Not far to the north is an inferno town that has been harassing Arathian troops and citizens for decades. There's only one way to handle such a pest. Build a good sized army and attack them as quickly as possible. A defeated enemy can't hurt you. This is very true. There's a lot of marksmen though. Uh, we should... Maybe get these guys... Definitely want a spell book. Okay, haste is good. No slow, unfortunately. Okay, Cuthbert's actually got estates, which is not bad. That's a nice little win. Skelly men, eh? You can barely believe your eyes as you approach the gold mine. Ahead, a pack of skeletons busily fill carts with gold. As you approach, though, they drop their tools and pick up swords. Stay away! They shout, we didn't hand over this mine when we died, so we're certainly not going to do it now. Well, you say that. Um, we should get an archer's tower, for sure. Heaps of treasure and resources are simply lying about on the ground, so I've decided to concentrate on building the troop generation dwellings right now, rather than concentrating on structures such as a town hall. Of course, my advisors agree this tactic is wise. We well, you say that. Not oh, spyglass. Interesting. Not what I would have normally gone for. Okay, that gives us a city hall. Hmm. That's a good shout. I'm going to go leadership for now, though. Excellent, sir. We were just on our way to tell you that we are interested in joining your cause. If you visit the barracks weekly, we'll be very glad to sign up with you, says a swordsman pointing to the barracks just behind him. Ooh, a quest guard. Okay, there's only gogs defending that. Maybe we should have dealt with that. Um, don't really want them grabbing all the good stuff. She's pretty weak. None shall pass here. Yeah. I could do with pathfinding and logistics for sure.
But spell power, I've got one. Oof. not really very good um okay oh and now they left rude how dare they seven whites we want proof that you indeed fighting for the side of good bring us seven whites so we can destroy them and we will believe you and let you pass i need to get a capital ace up rocky it may be wiser to ignore piles of treasure near a mine and get the mine under production as quickly as possible, says one of my advisors. There's always time later on to pick up treasure. Unless, of course, there are enemies about. Also, you should hire another hero to help you. We can be attacked from both the east and the west, and another hero to protect the flanks is needed. I feel like they're not unlikely to join. Oh, found a base. Okay, the only problem here is that they have um, a citadel. Seems like, oh, blue's out already. Lovely. Let's get a magic guild. Ah, still no slow. How many enemies are in this? Two, okay. Uh, let's go build a... Hmm. Never mind. A thousand gold from that one. All seems to be the big problem right now. Go away! This mercury is for our masters, so we can't let you have it. I'm already level... Six. That did not take long. Did not take long at all. And what's the request for this? We don't have much in the way of protection, but if you return with 11 royal griffins, we could fly away to a safe place. Then you could do as you wish. Okay. That we can definitely do. Let's grab a Rax. So that was the purple, so what does that open up? An alternate... Oh, right, the Tomb of Souls, I see. I think we need to get a resource silo. I am a fan of playing the castle faction, at least. I've been unlucky all my life. If I had a clover of fortune, I'm certain my luck would change. I could leave this dreary tower without the fear of being attacked on the road. Maybe I could go visit the ocean. Could you find me the clover of fortune for me? Sure. Seems like a very reasonable request. I don't want to build a castle. that if I can help it. Um, how strong is a blister right now? Eh, not very strong at all. We definitely need some more attack. Ah oh man, one spell power really is uh, it's a bit rough.
As much as I want to do that, I think that's... I've only got 125 pikemen. If I had a few more, and they were halberds, I'd probably say, yeah, that's probably worth giving it a crack, but... I don't see that going my way. Rion Griffinhart is always on my mind these days. After he slaughtered me, he was able to have a family and lead his kingdom into greatness. Griffinhart was responsible for the destruction of my empire, a barbarian empire, and for scattering my people back into the inhospitable western lands. And now the ancestors are favouring this outsider? Is not Griffinhart responsible for weakening our people? He's an enemy, and yes, I must save him. I don't understand it. Hee hee hee! We're supposed to be watching this place and keeping all you peoples from getting the sulphur dune. Always the big ones ordering us around. We don't get to order nobody. Wanna be home in bed, but nobody cares. Not you either, I bet. Well, someone's gotta pay. Well. Ooh, Valeska, we should definitely pick her up. I like having archers early on. Okay, we are limited to what we can actually build in all of these bases as it happens. Queen Alison's messenger arrives and hands me a sealed letter. It reads, Dear Sir Tarnum, I hope that things are going well and that you find the town of Meddington to be satisfactory. Please hurry. The passing of each day is one more that my father's soul is tortured. If you are in need of anything, please let me know. She expects a response, I'm sure, but I just don't feel like writing today. Maybe tomorrow. Now we can deal with some griffins, methinks. Just gonna get me some crusaders and then we'll rock and roll. Right, let me get Valeska over here as well. My response to Queen Alison may be late, but it's to the point. Queen Alison, I am doing well and should have access to the gate within a few weeks. I will let you know. Let's pull these across. Don't really want them dying to griffins. Let's see if we can do better than that. Uh, yeah, one... Um, one spell power really just doesn't doesn't cut the mustard. Nice, good trade. Now we can get the old uh, marksman back. Seven whites, eleven royal griffins. That I can trade.
What wonderful news! Now we can fly away to safety. Will you give us the 11 royal griffins? Oi, lads. Oi. Right, let's get Valeska here as well so she can grab the uh, XP. Today is the anniversary of my death and subsequent fall from grace. As I think about it, I realise it was foolish of me to challenge him to single combat. Rion Griffinheart was the better swordsman. I wonder what my life would have been like if I had simply ordered my army to attack. It's day seven, so let's go ahead. Do one more sweep. Pretty sure I've got wisdom, so I can cast up to level three spells. Oh, I need to get my mana back. That's sensible. Another message arrives from Queen Alison. Because of your successes, Sir Tarnum, the monks and zealots of the land are convinced that you are performing a service of goodness and will be joining you on the next leg of your journey. If duty did not keep me here, I would be slaying these vile demons myself. Good luck. I chuckle at her words. So, she imagines herself a warrior, does she? Well, I guess I have to admire her spirit. Right, Cuthbert's Earth Magic. Already got that. So, Order of Fire plus one spell power, that's great. I'm actually gonna have you get the XP, level 2 and level 3 I think. Ooh, blind and lightning bolt, nice. Uh, what did we pick up? We picked up red. Oh, it just allows me to waltz in, okay. No idea where Clover of Fortune is, can't get there. Can't get through purple without the whites. And there's a quest guard here. Gonna, is it two heroes that come with me? All heroes, but Tarnum and two of his captains. Okay, well, I'll keep him for... Um, uh, what do you call it? Estates. Okay, teleport, anti-magic. Nice. You stare bleakly at the inhospitable land ahead. Is burned and scarred by lava and flame. Dead. What twisted creature would choose to live in such a place? The underworld will be worse, you're sure, but this is bad enough. Your men begin to murmur about the strange occurrences that go on in these parts. Evil things. They fidget as they walk, flinch at every noise. Sensing they are close to fleeing, you sit boldly in your saddle and show no sign of distress as you give the order to continue. What I have is for Tarnum alone, I shall give it to none other. Finally, it is you, Tarnum. Here is what I have for you. Do you accept? Okay, cool. That's useful. I do accept. I'm going to bring you over here because I want to see what the request is for this. Okay, she's going to magic arrow and leave. Good to know. Not worth wasting spells on, I don't think. Um, where's that base going to be? Somewhere in the middle, I suspect. Yeah, that looks about right. There's a big old army in there, though. Pretty sure we can deal with it, though.
or not. A 7-2 attack, okay. Yeah, this is no joke. Okay, well let's deal with the army first. Mm. And we can deal with the Magogs later. Continue to blind this one. Got 30 health left. together and grouped up. Actually them coming out to meet me is probably a good thing. Not that they will. Oh they will. Nice. Oof, that's a lot of damage. First level is always going to be pretty much the hardest in terms of uh, obviously your character is pretty weak at this point. Weak source. Purple's been vanquished. Ah, what's the uh, mission objective again? Oh, get to the gates of the underworld. Right. Okay, I see. Okay. Alison has sent a letter almost every day and each one stating her desire to run her sword through the bellies of evil creatures of this realm. She could almost be a barbarian, except she is far too concerned about what people think about her. All this letter writing has taught me one thing though. I hate it and dread every moment behind the pen. <laughs> Alright, let's grab level 2. Not the best of spells. The reward I have is only for someone who is wise enough to handle it. Achieve experience level 6 and I shall reward you. Wow. Ah, you've reached level 6. Would you like to receive a reward? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is massive. Right, what is this reward? What do we need? Oh, okay. So he also wants me to be level 6. 7. What did he want? Clover of Fortune. Yeah, easy enough. Let's just see what level 3 spells I can get. Uh, fireball and landmine. Not terrible. Not terrible. Masquerading as a knight isn't all that different from being a barbarian. 
For the most part, both are honourable and believe in respecting and protecting their families. Arathia used to be barbarian territory, and a large part of the population are descendants of my people. Knights and their society are just a polished version of a barbarian. Although, knights seem to put the word of their lord above the needs of their community. Just the opposite is true for a barbarian. Well, for a barbarian who follows the old ways. These days, my culture is far more chaotic and violent than they used to be. The guard acknowledges that you are, have indeed reached level 6. Do you wish to pass? I do. I'm going to assume there's a requirement for devils in your army. Call it a hunch. Give us the white so we can put their souls to rest and we'll let you pass. I'm sure you'll want to visit the tent just south of here. Watch for guardians though. We aren't positive, but some of those demon types might have slipped by us. Your barbarian instincts tell you that the demons would not leave this place unguarded. You see nothing at first, but the faintest odour of sulphur gives away the presence of your attackers. They must have seen something in your expression because lots of Magog suddenly attack. Nay, problem. Alright, time to finish this mission. That's going to get out of the way, please and thank you. Might as well. Last night I could hear some young soldiers talking to their sergeant around a campfire. The subject was barbarians. A deep sense of shame overwhelmed me as I listened to the tales. Those barbarians will raid any village, says the sergeant, even ones without any warriors. They plunder and pillage everything in their path. Nothing but minor savages, I tell ya. The only good thing about a barbarian is they kill their own people about as often as they kill us. Unable to listen to any more, I retired early and tried unsuccessfully to convince myself that the soldier was wrong. What, did you think you were just going to hand over this gold? That's just about the funniest thing I've heard all year. Sounds a lot like that to me. Winding your way through the mountains, you see the signs of habitation. Old campfires, bones of consumed animals. Too late, you realise you are surrounded. Gogs attack. They must be protecting the entrance to the underworld. Grab Velasca to get this. Ooh, water magic. Nice. I should get earth magic as well, actually. Nice. You know that deep within the bowels of the earth, demonic forces lay in wait to tear you limb from limb. Before entering such a world, it would be most prudent to have a well-armed force at your back. Before continuing, you remember your promise to Queen Alison, and dispatch a letter stating that you have made it to the underworld gate, and are just now securing the passage. All that's left are some arch devils and you're certain that your army can handle them. Okay, in that case... Let's just grab this. It's gonna be a big old fight. Wow. Okay, well they didn't all go for my... Uh, Arcs for much as I thought they would.
Congratulations, you have completed your quest to kill the fearsome beast and can claim victory. Conk. Ooh. Conk one. Alright, scenario two, the boatman. Find the orb of inhibitation in order to pay the boatman for passage. Do not lose Tarnum. All heroes will be limited to level 12, but Tarnum and two of his best captains will transfer to the next scenario with all of their spells, skills, and experience. All right, let's roll with plus one defense. Let's do this. Masquerading as a knight turned out to be less difficult than Tarnum first thought. As he searched the first level for the elusive boatman who could guide him deeper into the underworld, Tarnum learned that the beliefs and practices of the Knights of Arathia have their roots in barbarian culture. One could walk the first plane of the underworld for all eternity and never find the gate to the next level. Only the boatman knows the way. It is rumoured that he will take anyone to the next level as long as they meet his price. Today, that price is the Orb of Inhibitation, a powerful magical item that was recently stolen from him. It seems I have no option but to deal with the creature. Move these over. Well, at least we've got a decent sized army now for the most part. A scout returns with information. We have secured a town to the south of here. The tunnels twist and turn upon themselves, but there are distinct paths and nothing seems completely blocked off. If you go east, you will come across a sulfur dune and a seer's hut. From what the natives say, visiting the Seer's Hut will be the only way to finding the boatman. You nod in response and spur your horse forward. Oh, just shy of grabbing that. Oh, but I already have... Oh, I've got everything. I just need five grand. Okay, cool. That's super convenient. So you want to go east, really, um, and then we'll use these two to actually... Grab the gubbins. Oh, there's a quest part. And race towards the capital. My advisors have already moved into the new castle to prepare things for my arrival. They have sent scouts to survey the area, so reports should be coming in very soon. But I haven't been lax in the past few days either. Trying to find my way around these tunnels is maddening. I can already tell the weeks ahead are not going to be good ones. However, the lines of communication with Queen Allison will be re-established soon and unexpectedly I find myself looking forward to her letters. Mm. A sour stench comes from around the next bend in the tunnel. You cautiously turn the corner, expecting to find a dead creature left to rot, but instead you find walking corpses. Zombies. Okay, I can 
for gold mines, nice. I would be willing to part with the shackles of war, but you will have to compensate me. They are worth 5,843 gold pieces to me. Bring me the money and I will give you the shackles. You'll need these to find the boatman, you know. You have brought me my money, and now, if you should be so kind, I will give you the shackles of war. Hell yeah, it's a great artifact. I'm like, I can retreat anyway in combat. Um... Oh, hello. Okay, they're pretty weak. Four? I think not. As you approach the gold mine, you can see the bones of the dead litter the ground before it. Too late, you realise that you have fallen into the same trap the old hero, as several creatures spring out from the rocks. Wow. An old man sits by the wayside begging for coin. You look at him and realise that not all adventurers escape the underworld. His armour is rusted and his sword is snapped off just above the hilt. He is obviously close to death. I do not wander aimlessly along these tunnels, he says wisely. The creatures jump out from every corner and from beneath every rock. Make sure you are well defended or you will end up like me. You order a few of your men to take the poor old fool to the surface, so we can see the sky once more before he dies. Alright, let's give him shackles of war and a spyglass. Deal with these. The blister is definitely getting there, slowly but surely. No trap this time. The lands beyond are very dangerous. The guards eye you dubiously, but agree to let you by once you have achieved experience level 10. Too expensive. What about this? Can I actually build anything? Oh, no, I can't build any Temple of Glory, so better off just trading that for a castle. There's green as well, so green and purple. A message arrived for me today providing tactical information on the region. These tunnels are a nightmare to defend. There are three major routes to our castle, all connected so an enemy can attack from any direction. We need to clear the nearby territory and establish a well-guarded base. Always remember, the enemy is never far away. As there are plenty of creatures crawling these caverns, be careful. I wish I had three armies instead of just one. How can I mount a decent offensive if I'm always worrying about my back? This is a good point. Okay, well we should have like an early warning system at least with these scouts. Okay. 
Definitely build ourselves a capital. Ah, that's annoying. One of those griffins. <laughs> Man, I need logistics and pathfinding. ASAP Rocky. Oh yeah, Shackles of War. <laughs> oh, diplomacy. Yeah, 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 yeah. A slimy green blob comes flying out of nowhere and sticks to your armour. Your men are soon covered in it. A pack of imps appear, laughing and taunting you as they fling more of the stuff from their noses. Enraged, you attack. Kind of want to see what's in that. Witch hut. Home of Heavenly Enlightenment. Wow. Okay, that is something we cannot ignore. Okay, we'll get that. Cuthbert, my oh no. Okay, well let's just deal with purple. Do need a way to uh, recover our um, mana. Try up here. Let's grab a resource silo. The armor, that's not that great. The lands ahead are strewn with the bones of the fallen. Your men hesitate, not wanting to push ahead. Even you feel there is something wrong with this place, but you're not going to let that frighten you off. It's not easy to convince your men to continue, but as soon as you remind them that they're soldiers, not children, they straighten their backs and step forward. These cursed lands bring a dark cloud over everyone's thoughts, and morale plummets like a soul falling from the heavens. Is there a base here is the question, or is this just stuff? A horde of familiars are dancing around the cavern ahead, passing a shiny helm from one to another as they play some obnoxious game. As you approach, the one wearing the helm shouts, It's our helm! You can't have it, you pale freak of flesh! We'll tear you limb from limb before you get your smelly paws on it! Well then, we'll see about that.
We suggest, says the spokesman for my advisors, that you hire as many heroes as you can afford and order them to constantly patrol the tunnels. No doubt the enemy is crawling through these caverns like cockroaches and they have about as much honor as a bug as well. They're bound to try and sneak up on us. There's the base here, lovely. I can do better than that, I think. Take care of him. Lovely. Your discovery of the Helm of Heavenly Enlightenment could not be more welcome. It is a wondrous helm that adds great power to the abilities of those who wear it. No wonder the familiars wanted to keep it for themselves. You have no idea what this elderly knight is doing down here, but he doesn't seem to be in a hurry to leave. As you sit to talk, he explains, Fifty gogs are not so difficult to find in these parts, but I don't feel very interested in wandering about. Dangerous creatures lurking in the dark, you know. As I get older, though, I need some protection from those blasted imps that plague these tunnels like rats. If you do the dirty work for me, I will give you the circuit of counterpoise. Then again, if you want to find the boatman, you may have to give me those gogs anyway. Okay, good to know. So we need that item for him. Fifty gogs is a lot, though. There's probably another base there. Can't really go anywhere else with her. There's a green here. How strong is this guy? Okay, kind of weak source. I think I might get Adelaide. Okay, let's cut him off. A ratty looking fellow tells you, pay a visit to the Hall of Sins just to the south and you'll thank me later. You'll need to visit it each week until you have enough gogs to satisfy the seer who needs them. Ah, okay. That's also another way of doing it. That's very irritating. Can we deal with him? One, four, twenty. Um, yeah, I think she could. I just need her to retreat and ideally not die. I think we take out Purple's base. Rion, wow, Rion Griffinheart, I guess. Is that? 
I am in need of the surcoat of counterpoise. If you are interested in finding the boatman, then you will give it to me. If not, you can rot in these accursed tunnels for all I care. Okay. So that's how those quests are linked. Things were going rather well until one of the old timers began talking about Rion Griffinhart's campaign against the barbarian tyrant. He spoke of Griffinhart's bravery, how he stood before the tyrant's massive army and challenged the brutish king to single combat in order to prevent even more carnage. The barbarian king was stronger, taller and blinded by a rage that seemed unquenchable. Using skill instead of fury, Griffinhart gutted the stupid savage. Those were his words. The old soldier continued, explaining how the barbarian army must have thought their king was invincible, because when they saw him fall, they lost all hope and ran. I had to bite my tongue to keep from speaking out in my defence, and when their words got to be too much, I walked away. One thing is certain, that old soldier will be digging latrines for months. seems determined to join me. Uh, whoops. Right, that should deal with this guy. Interesting choice. Well, interested she. Oh, right, he's got no bases. Huh. Well, okay then. I am truly sorry, but we want to see that you'll really have business here. Bring us three devils and we'll believe you. fog swirls about your feet as if it has a mind of its own. Its chill seeps through your armour, your clothes, even through your skin, and freezes your very bones. Only creatures of evil could effectively move in this fog, and it will definitely have a bad effect on the good men you have in your ranks. Sandro, my boy. Wrong campaign, brother. So that's all connected. The lines of communication are open once again, and Queen Alison's first message is more than a letter. Dearest Tarnum, I am grateful for your continued help in finding my father's soul. He was a good man who fought honourably and died honourably. Knowing that things must be difficult, I have taken up a collection from the nobles in my father's honour, and have sent the proceeds to you. Please find my father soon. Her familiarity startles me. 
but I realise that I feel close to this bold young woman as well. Base. Oof, that is not a good army to take that out. Yikes. We do have spells. So does he grant it? He also has a base <laughs> and towers. This could be a difficult fight. Oh, I say could, will be a difficult fight. But we do also have Ballista. Unfortunate. Hmm. He wasn't in the base, I could definitely have dealt with him. Green came from this direction, so that's the way I'm going to go. Let me just have you scout. Ooh, that's unfortunate. This doesn't matter. Yeah, that should right about do it. Oh, an expert artillery would take that. <laughs> All right, we've got spells. kind of pull them out of position which is nice
Oh, my blister really does nothing at the moment. GG on this one. What's the max uh, level? Level 12. Yeah, 12. Okay, cool. Need to regen our mana before we move on. Where did Mayboy go? I know what your plans are. I approve of what you are doing here. If you bring me a small token of your appreciation, I will give you knowledge. Return with the Helm of Chaos and you will learn much. Nice. Ah, interesting. Oh, Sandro, hello. We have an army to take that out right now, though. to take my base, he can damn well fight me for it. So I'm interesting, that's where he just came from. Can't go in there. Oh, we haven't come across blue yet. Is there an underground? Ah, uh, there is. Okay. Well then. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't even have to use spells, that's hilarious. Um so I'll actually came from there. Okay, I think Green's on his last hero. Lovely. Right. Now then, boys. Now we can start finishing this mission. Guess we're going for a um, inferno army. So we just need to get 50 gogs together.
It has taken a few days for me to compose a response to Alison's letter. Her praise of her father followed so closely on the heels of the old soldier's tale of my death and the hands of Griffinheart has left me angry. I still remember the pain, still feel it in my belly some nights when I go to bed, and yet they talk about me like some monster from a child's story. But I pick up the quill, dip it in the ink bottle, and shake my head. It's not fair to blame Alison. She didn't choose her father. So I write. Queen Alison, things are going well. Do not worry. We will find your father's soul soon. Thank you for the additional supplies. They have helped in construction and recruiting costs. Please send my regards to all those who helped. I sign only my name. Perhaps a little short and cold, but it's all I can manage right now. Out of absolutely nowhere, a crazed familiar comes screaming, You're not going to take my treasure! I'll kill the lot of you! He rushes headlong into your men and dies on a sword. You shake your head, thinking these tunnels would make anyone go mad. Then you look about and see nothing that could even be remotely considered treasure. Of course, there is that rocky area to the west. This little corner was definitely worth the effort. It's the familiar's den. The little creature was crazy to attack so many people. You inspect his reeking home and discover he must have been a good thief. There is loads of treasure here. Nice. <laughs> Damn, Jimmy. Lovely. Wow, it just maxed me out. Nice. Oh, which lovely it is. Um... Swap those two. Put our glass on him. Oh, everyone's meeting up. Lovely, jovely. So Adelaide, I actually want her to be the one that levels up. I think we got to take Valeska and I think we'll take Adelaide with us. The others are kind of just... There to do my bidding for the most part, I think. All right, lovely. That should make a big old difference. Scout there. Adelaide has got no army whatsoever, so we need to deal with that. I came down here years ago to study the difference between angels and demons, but the demons keep escaping from their cages, crafty things. I like to get a hold of the shackles of war though. Now I am aware you are in desperate need to see the boatman, a personal friend of mine he is. I happen to know you'll need the archangel I captured years ago to see him. I'll trade the archangel for the shackles, that sound fair? Okay. And then there's a red key mass tent, which was this one. She needed 50 gogs, basically. Well, indirectly needs 50 gogs. That was 
Rion. Rion meets me at the Tarnum. Okay. Let's go down to the Marletto Tower. Go do this. Sure, I don't need. Orin, I've just got troops on, so let's just scout this last tunnel. Fight the imps and level up. Lovely. A rider arrives, a member of one of the parties scouting deep within the tunnels. We have discovered the location of the Orb of Inhibitation and know what you must do to get it, the Ragged Scout says when he catches his breath. Clenching my fists, I speak before I even know what I am saying. You look tired, clean up, eat a good meal and get some sleep. You've earned it. We'll discuss things later. The perplexed Scout bows and leaves. I notice my advisors are poised to ask why I didn't ask for the information immediately, but they hold their questions when they catch my tense expression. Of chaos, I don't have that yet. How do I know where it is? Okay, you guys got a bit of spell power, but very weak on the attack and defense side of things. Let's get Rion down here. I'd like to see what that um, that has to offer from a skill perspective. Well, we've definitely got enough gogs between us. Apparently hellhounds have a similar trait with other types of dogs. They love to dig, except this group dug themselves a nice shallower hole and then used it to spring out and attack you. Rude. Power liches, eh? You think not. There is no getting around it. I have to see the scout. I've avoided him these past few days, always busy with something else. But I'm beginning to see suspicion in the eyes of my advisors. To think I almost turned my back on the ancestor's mission just for spite. My temper has always been my downfall, but not today. Never again. I send for the scout. The grudge I have against Rion Griffinheart is over now that his soul's torture has been extended for a few days. We are even. The scout's information is complex but important. The seer to the south of your castle wants 50 gogs in return for the surcoat of counterpoise, the scout begins. Take the surcoat to the border guard and you'll gain access to the keymaster's tent and then the land beyond the red border guard. Now you'll need the shackles of war from the seer just northeast of the castle. The shackles of war will gain you one archangel and that will gain you passage to where the orb is being held. Yeah, I actually figured that out myself, to be fair. Um, 
Where's Rion? Let me know what's in there, would you? See if it's worth picking up. So between these two, I've got 50 gogs. Right. So with Valeska, pop all these on there. Just want to keep the uh, gogs. Valeska can go up here. Adelaide, we'll grab that whilst you're there. Earth magic. I already had that, so I'm not interested. Oh, actually, Adelaide would probably benefit from that, to be fair. Right, so also uh, get a Magic Guild. I'm going to get it higher than level... Uh, as well. No, hopefully not. No, okay, that'll do. Right, we should actually start putting uh, some investment into these magic guilds, see if we get sound portal, you never know. Or at least some good spells. Oh, destroy undead, that's a good one. Wait, do these not have marketplaces? They do. I'm getting such a bad exchange rate. Explosion, that's a good one. Wanted to see, unfortunate. First things first, let's upgrade the boys. Why does Tart? Oh, okay. Sure. Let's just get the Crusaders and then we'll move on out. Crystal is short on now. Mutual shower, good spell, not what I want. We all know that we want Town Portal, that's the that's what we're really holding out hope for. The instructions to the Orb of Inhibitation are almost as confusing as these blasted tunnels. How do these demons manage to navigate this place? The only safe way to make sure that everything is completed is to visit the Seers myself. Maybe some of my captains can run some of the errands, but I think I should be doing the talking. To begin, I need to find the Seer who wants 50 gogs, and somehow find a way to recruit these loathsome demons. And as it happens, that's the easy part. Alright, let's head down here. Okay, we need 
to meet up with him. We can just chill. Oh, actually, yeah, you can. Oh, no. She still needs to. Thing over. Adelaide. Yeah, you can chill there. Gogs. Now I know you want to see the boatmen, so why don't you just give the gogs and I'll compensate you the surcoat of counterpoise. I agree. Alright, so I've got to walk all the way back here. Jesus. Um, let's get her to go here. A message from Queen Allison arrives. Dearest Tarnum, I am hoping to join you shortly. The advisors here are having fits at the very suggestion that I take a hand in the situation personally, but I feel that it would be wrong to have so many people die while trying to rescue my father's soul without me being there as well, risking just as much as they do. Please let me know if your position is secure so that I can begin my journey. Thank you again for all your help. Two, I guess. One of my advisors has commented that my letters are practically unreadable, so I've been studying with one of the scribes. It has taken me some time to learn to sound like a noble. Dear Queen Alison, my apologies for the delay in my response. We have secured the underground gate and the surrounding territory. The demons do not pose any threat to us, and in fact we are making it our personal quest to exterminate these vile creatures from the area. The campaign is going well, and the enemy poses little resistance. However, this will all be for moot if we can't find the boatman. Once we have secured passage to the next level from this elusive boatman, you will be able to join us without fear of attack. It would be good for the morale of the troops if you were seen here taking a personal hand in the matter. I know your duties are demanding, but I am certain there are several competent advisors who can take care of matters while you are away. We look forward to your presence. Your humble servant, Sir Tarnum. My hand is tired when I complete this letter, and I can't help but think that if these nobles spent more time training their troops and less time worrying about proper speech, they would rule the world. <laughs> He's not too far wrong, to be fair. Right, just get these spells. Oh, this one's quite far away from getting any stuff. slacking on that one. No, no town portal this game, that's for sure. Now that you have the surcoat of counterpoise, you can just give it to me and I'll be on my way. Just make sure you visit the key mass before trucking all the way to the southeast to find the border guard. Ready to trade? Yes. Go ahead, grab match level five. Let's 
sacrifice. That spell is not what I wanted. My flowery words and false flattery of the nobleman must have worked because Queen Alison has sent word that she is on her way and will arrive in another two months. Her confidence in my abilities is great, since she obviously assumes I will have found the boatman by then. Wish I was so confident. She also seems excited about taking a leadership role in the rescue of her father. I fear that she thinks I'm going to allow her to get into the thick of battle when all I really needed was a figurehead to make the troops feel good. A pretty smile would do. But then she'll probably fold under the pressure and run home at the first chance she gets. I'm assuming she's the uh, mother of um, Catherine Iron Fist. Or great grandmother, perhaps, or something like that. Well, there's definitely a lot of similarities between the two. Well, that one's got the implosion. Okay, great. Does it also have Meteor Shower? No, that's the Dragon Slayer one. Okay. Ah, Castle Gate. Yeah, that's a good show. Yeah, Castle Gate to all of these. It would sure make my life easier. Basically, Town Portal. Stygius. Ah, yeah, nice. And Hellwind. Alright, so which one do I actually need to get to? Stygius. Let's kill the Gorgs, don't need them anymore. I'll have you do the rounds. Uh, Stygius and Hellwind. Great, and then I'll have you do the rounds. Shorty and Blackburn, Stygius, Hellwind. Wonderful. Looks like we have a deal. Give me the Shackles of War and I'll give you the Archangel. As you rein in your horse, a guard steps up to you. Welcome. I have received word of your arrival. Do you wish to pass at this time? He is. My family and I want out, but the only way to leave these accursed tunnels is if we can get someone to fly us out. I know that Archangels are honourable creatures, so if you bring one, they'll just take us out of here. Just one is all I ask. Give us the Archangel and you can get on with your mission. You'll need that red orb sitting on the ground just beyond here. Indeed I do. Well, that was an easy fight. Congratulations, you have found the Orb of Inhibitation and can claim victory.